It's not coming off. Oh my gosh, your boyfriend's so lucky to have you. Takes two hours to get ready when we have to be somewhere. Forgets to eat and then gets an attitude whenever she's hungry. Gets mad at any minor inconvenience. Can never decide where she wants to eat. Can roast me, but if I say anything back, then I'm the bad guy. And always complains about having a headache when she doesn't even drink water. Oh my gosh, this girl's butt is like massive. <laughs> guys, I'm in a CVS and this creep keeps staring at my butt. I'm literally going to record and show you because it's so weird. As you guys always ask, here is my go-to eye makeup tutorial featuring the new Too Faced Island Spritz Palette, which literally smells incredible. I love it so much, and the shades are so beautiful. I start with the shade Toasted in Tuscany and just sweep that all across my lid. I think this is great going all the way up to your brow bone and really creates a beautiful transition shade. Then I take the next shade and just apply it on the outer V of my eye. I like to do the top and bottom parts of my lid. I think it really opens up your eye. Then I use the shade Espresso Yourself and use this as like a tight line water liner. I think that dark browns are beautiful right around your waterline and give you a little bit more of an open round shape. I squint my eyes and also take a soft brush and apply right under where that indent of the skin is. I find that this makes your eyes look more open and round. Next, I'm going to take the shade Spritz and Glitz and just apply that all over the lid. I love purple. I think it's beautiful. I also like to apply this on the bottom part of my eyelid. I know a lot of people don't do this, but I think it's beautiful. And if you haven't tried it, definitely try it out. The shade Late Como, I'm just going to add in the center as well. Then take your favorite eyelashes or mascara. I use both. And I apply lashes on the top and mascara on the bottom. I'll show you what it looks like with and without mascara. And then this is the final product. I love it. Make sure to check out the new Too Faced palette. So pick me, choose me, love me. Hey everybody, I saw all your comments asking for a tutorial on this hairstyle, so that's what we're going to be doing today. You're just going to want to start with your hair down. It can be dirty. In fact, it being dirty kind of makes it easier to work with. I use a comb, two ponytails, and a flat iron for this hairstyle. That's basically all you need. Just go ahead and split your hair straight down the middle into two sections and take a ponytail and section off one side of the hair just so it's out of the way. Then I like to take a brush and brush my hair back so it's like in the direction we're going to be twisting the hair, but you don't have to do that. At this point, if you want any of those little baby hairs out, I'd go ahead and pull them out because it's going to be kind of difficult to do later. And so I just pulled those little face framing hairs out and go ahead and took a bobby pin, actually. It looks kind of silly, but go ahead and pin it to the other side of your head. I promise this helps it take it out of the way, even if it looks kind of stupid. Then you just take a section of hair at the top of your head and split it into two and then twist it over each other. Then I take some hair at the top of my head and add it to the section facing that. You'll begin to notice when you twist the section, whichever section is facing like the top of your hair is where you'll add hair to that. And the section facing the bottom of your head is the one where you're going to add hair from the bottom. And you literally just twist your hand back away from your face. It's super easy once you get the hang of it. It might take a couple tries, but after that, I promise you can do this hairstyle in like three minutes. So once I get down towards the base of my neck, I just add like hair from the bottom of my head. It's kind of easier to work with. In fact, you can start just adding hair from the bottom section if you'd like. It doesn't really look any different. So um, that might be a bit easier if you're just starting out doing this hairstyle. And make sure to keep the hair pulled tight. If you let go at all, it's gonna unravel. So once you get to this point and it's at the base, this is where I tend to see people have problems. You're gonna need to take these two sections and twist them the opposite direction of the way you were twisting the hair before. So I just keep one section in my mouth because it's easier and then twist the other one and you'll see I'm twisting them away from the other twist. Like it's the opposite direction. Then once they're both twisted in the opposite direction, you're gonna twist them across each other going the direction of the original twist. And what this does is it creates, I think, friction. I'm not exactly sure, but it creates something that keeps your hair from un unraveling after you put it in a ponytail. And that way you'll be able to keep that little twist formation throughout the whole day. So as you'll see, I just kind of keep that twist going as I go down and then put a ponytail in my hair and you'll see that it will stay put. Hold on one second. I'll show you. It took me a while to get this ponytail on. And then ta-da! See, it doesn't unravel. So that's probably the most important part. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side of my hair. And then I'll come back to show you all how I finish off this hairstyle. 
Okay, once I'm done with that, I like to take a flat iron. You can also use like a curling wand. And I just like to curl these little sections. I feel like it gives it a more finished look. And I curl the ends. And that's literally all I do. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it helped. <gasps> this guy is so hot. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. No, he's like beautiful. What are you saying? I've never seen a guy that's... Oh my Ew. gosh. <laughs> Dude, he's so Shit. fine. He's so fine. <laughs> you fine. <laughs> Say the words. Oops. Butter. Butter. Fly. Dang it. Butter. 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 Fly. No. Butter. Aw. Butter. No. Butter. No. Butter. 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 No. Fly. No. Butter. Dang it. Butter. Nope. Butter. 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 Butter, 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 fly, butter, butter, oh, butter, you just got butter, fly, no, butter, fly, no, butter, butter, okay, these are hilfum, we're doing it again, what else, oh, melon, baja, ping it, inside, we're not again, what else, cool, I didn't get water, Melon, ah, uh, what? I'm so close. Water? Freak, water? What? Uh, what? Melon? What? <gasps> okay, my summer, like, sucked, so I need a good era. I need, like, an it girl era, please. Okay, okay. All the it girls are in the 90s. I can take that. Compli- Oh, no. I ain't doing that crap. Give me something new. 2010s era. Okay. Dude. No, I'm not. That is not an option. That is not an option. Okay, what's my era? Cozy. Okay, okay, I can see that. Bro, this filter is literally about to get a like knuckle sandwich. Shut up. Okay, what era am I in? Rat. <laughs> okay, at least my love life's okay this time. Okay, healthy skin. I mean, this is honestly probably the most realistic. Okay, first one to get three in a row can go through the other person's notes app. Let's go, baby. Okay, hold on. You ain't got it. Nope. Oh my god. I swear. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought he got it. I went too fast. Oh, you that suck. So bad. You suck. Uh, you suck. Oh, no. no, I don't. You suck. No, I don't. No. <laughs> you suck. No, stop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get this one. I did not get that one. That what? was <laughs> That was no. so bad. Oh yeah, it's slowing down again. Okay, focus up. So. No. That was so bad. What was that? I literally, I literally, I don't know. 
Dang. I feel like if I zone out. No, no, no. Watch. I got it now. Oh, he's so focused. Okay, Stop. You're getting in my space. I can't focus. Oh, that's too bad. Sucker. You're going at grandma speed right now. No. So, so, so get wrecked. Get Wait, wrecked. Wait, I get redemption. Redemption. Okay. Redemption. Okay, it's my redemption. Damn, it's slowed down. <laughs> okay, so you all know that I have very little baby eyelashes, and you ask me a lot um, what mascara I would use. This is my favorite mascara currently right now. It is the Clio Kill Lash Superproof Mascara in number four, Extreme Volume, and I'll just show you what it does for my eyelash. Okay, so here's the wand. It's not waterproof, but it is smudge proof, so it's like on that line where it like stays and doesn't smudge, but I'm just going to start with one coat. I do my first coat very, very light and uh, gentle because I don't want my eyelashes to get, like, clumpy, you know? Okay, so this is the mascara with one coat on. And remember, I have, like, really baby eyelashes, and you can already see it, like, making them stick up straight. A lot of times, problems I have with mascaras is they make my eyelashes fall down, and this is not done that at all. So I'm going to wait for it to dry. Okay, and then with my second coat, I just really like to go in on the edges. Because sometimes it's hard to see. There I go. Like that. And then I wait for this to dry. Okay, and now that that is dry, I just do one final coat. And I go back and up. Sometimes I make a little bit of a mess, but we'll clean that up later. And then same thing on the other eye. Inner corner a little bit. Just kind of like... Touching it up. Ta da! And here's what the final product looks like. That's my natural eyelashes, guys. You know I have like little baby eyelashes. This is the only mascara that does this for me. <coughs> this is the mascara. Again. It's the Clio Kill Lash Superproof Mascara in Extreme Volume. So, yeah, there's a little mascara routine for you. Okay, we're playing sing or slap. Get ready. <laughs> um, what does that say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, I'm up. Let's see what we get. Oh, someone like you. That's that's not what this song is. <laughs> Bro, my face is already I'm coming red. for an uppercut. No, no. I don't know this song. I don't like Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we get. Oh, she's sweet but a yeah, psycho, yeah, a little okay. bit psycho. Oh. Let's see. Ah! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm up. Let's see um. what we get. Jump too hard and stand off this way. I don't know the song. Too. You're lying. <laughs> You're definitely lying. <laughs> oh my eye. Hey guys, so the other day I posted a video with this hair and everyone and their mother was like, how did you do it? I need a tutorial. So here you are. And I start with wet hair. I put a ton of heat protectant on it and then I dry my hair about 90%. I'm using a Dyson Airwrap, but I know Shork and Revlon have a very similar tool and I would suggest that because this tool is like mad expensive for no reason. Anyway, and then I just separate a little tiny patch of my hair at the top and then I curl it up like this. This is how I do it with the Dyson Airwrap, but I know other hot tools, like, it's, it's a similar kind of thing. And then I hold it there for 15 seconds and turn it to the cold setting and hold it there for another 15 seconds. And then I take the curl out and push it to the other side of my head. I think it would be better to clip it, but I don't have clips, so I just push it to the other side of my head. Then I do the same thing, just going all the way down my head. I take little sections and curl them cool them and turn them over to the other side of my head until i'm looking like a deep side part early 2000s slash george washington type vibe yeah look at me do my dance anyway and then i take all the hair and flip over to the other side of my head like so i don't brush the curls i run through them with my fingers because i just think it looks better um but you also don't want to not run through them with your fingers because then it's just like stuck there weird and then i put so much hairspray on like so much hairspray and i do this little scrunchy thing because it helps the ends stay nice and curled and then i went into the other side and this like looks good as is but i swear if you just curl the front pieces individually it does so much better so i put some heat protectant on and i curl it up like this 
I'll hold it for like a long time because I want to make sure it's voluminous. And then once I'm done curling the front pieces, I just run through them with my hands and just push them through the back of my hair so it looks like so. And it adds so much volume. I swear it's a hack. And then you want to put so much hairspray on there. I mean, like, you're like living in hairspray at this point. Anyway, that's how I do it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Love you. What'd they say? <laughs> Get ready with me to go to a Harry Styles concert. Planning, nada. So I just picked up everything I think I need for a Halloween costume in the past hour, and I'm gonna be an angel. So before y'all start saying, oh, that's so basic, I know. I didn't plan, okay. Okay, I'm gonna be right back and do my makeup because we just don't have time for the whole thing, so. Makeup is done. Um, I can't tell if I like it or not, but it's good enough, so we're gonna go with it. Okay, so I found two different bottoms from Party City. This one's wider, but it's also like a tutu. And actually, anyway. Um, but this one, like, I like the little ribbon of it. It's just, it's like gray. So I'm gonna try the tutu one first. Okay, so in theory, this one like looks good, but I literally can't turn around. So we're gonna try the other one. This one's literally worse, so we're going back. Okay, so literally everyone's doing like corset tops this year. Um, I don't have a white corset top that I like, but I found this, which I feel like could work. So we're gonna try it and see. No freaking way. This is actually perfect. Well, the top's perfect. I'm still a little bit, well, oh, about the tutu. Okay, so for accessories, I have these stockings, which I feel like will go because I got these shoes that don't really match, but we'll talk about that later. Um, and then I have this little angel hair thing, so we'll see. This is what I'm excited about, these wings. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh! Slay! There's no way this is actually working right now. Okay, these are supposed to go up to your thighs, but the, the lazy part doesn't fit my thighs, so I guess they're, they're like flowy. Hey, <laughs> okay, I literally didn't have any shoes that could potentially work. So I grabbed these, which probably don't look good with socks, and I also don't know if they fit, but like, they, they kind of work. Honestly, they're like a little bit big, but not like to the point where I can't walk in them, so I feel like it's fine. This tutu is making me nervous. We're just gonna have to find shorts. Or okay, and the one thing I actually had faith in myself for was jewelry, so I have this Vivian Westwood necklace and a bunch of rings I like. Final look. Tutu's too short, shoes are too big, but low key I did that. How are we thinking? What are we thinking? <laughs> like, it looks good. I'm proud of myself. Okay, I'll tell you how it goes. Okay, we're both playing Kiss, Mary Kill, but we can't change our answers. Oh, he's sexy. Oh, my gosh. I would marry him. I'm going to kill him. Anyway. Okay, I'm under the neck, so let's see what you get. He's so sweet. I would marry him. I would marry him. Actually, I don't know what his personality is. He's super sweet. He spells dad. He's, like, super sweet. Oh. Cute. It's a little weird, though. Okay, who am I kidding? That is last. Oh, you got so lucky. He is fine. Oh, my God. Shut up. Okay, you're all right. I get to go. Let's go. Let's see what we got. I'm marrying her. <laughs> I'm marrying her straight up. <laughs> she's fine. She's fine. All right, let's see who we kissing and killing. Oh, she's getting kissed. She looks like you. Pan it over. You ain't married. Whatever. I already married someone else. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, we're on to the last one. Let's see who we get. I'm so... If they killed him. Oh, yeah. Damn. You don't feel bad. Die hard of the quit. <laughs> Dang. You do feel bad? You, yeah. You like her? Yeah. Mine sucked. And I'm stopping the video when I would leave her for the person. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, maybe... Babe, let's see what we can do about that. <laughs> oh. oh, no, that's all right. Okay. <laughs> what do I look like? Surprise, Shadi! All right, here we go. Pop. I'm going to win. Pop. <laughs> Pop. Nope. Pop. 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 
pop, 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 pop. Mmm, corn. <laughs> pop, fool. Corn, no. Pop, coin, maha. Dang it. Pop, pop, corn. No. <gasps> pop, no. Pop, no. Pop, 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 pop. Coin, huh. Pop, corn, popcorn, no, pop, coin, pop, 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 coin, no, pop, 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 corn, no, no, pop, no, pop, 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 no, no, Samuel, pop, 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 corn, ah, pop, pop. Coin, no. Pop, ah, uh, pop. Coin, uh, pop. Pop, mm. coin. <laughs> nah, pop. Damn. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Corn. Popcorn, yeah, fun. Okay. My Christmas wish list. <gasps> to get engaged. Okay, today we will be sharing our list of dicks with each other as our form of couples therapy. Because I've been seeing other couples do this. Okay, here's the thing. Ick number one is when you chew your food. He chews his food, swallows it, and then he takes the leftover food in his mouth, and he goes to kissing, and sticks it in my mouth. Oh, you went there. Okay. 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 Do you this? It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> Okay, am I to go in the lunch room and want to go there? Could you, and if this girl will be drinking a Starbucks or whatever drink it is, yeah, I drink in and out drink or something, I will find them months later accumulating mold in some random corner off somewhere. Like the other day, walking to the pantry, I'm like, oh, I'm looking for food. Oh my gosh, in the corner, there's a moldy Starbucks cup. It has a little fuzz growing on it. So that is disgusting. <laughs> They're so gross. And they just sit there. Okay. <laughs> Ick number two. For you. Oh, I'm, I just did it. I just showed you. He doesn't blow his nose whenever it's ready. He just goes... <laughs> like a million times over. <laughs> he refuses to blow it. So we're like cuddling. And all of a sudden it just... Okay. It's so... You want to go there? You want to go there? We'll sit this on the mic. This girl, the other day, she was sick, and she's blown her nose with a toilet paper roll. I'm like, not. She's sitting there blowing it, and she takes the ones that she's blown into, the little gooey tissue papers, and she stuffs them back into the middle of the toilet paper roll. What is that? Throw it away in a trash can. Yeah, it's so bad. Rolls. Yeah, it's so bad. It was so rough. I touched it on accident. <laughs> All right, you get you get your next tip, dog. <laughs> Man, please do that. That's who taught me. It's gross. Ah, uh, all drips. Um, mm. oh my gosh. So we'll be listening to a very popular song in the car, and he will just start singing the wrong lyrics. Like if the lyrics are like, oh no, that song's like, oh, if you really don't like me, find somebody else. It could be anybody. Else. He'll be like, if you really don't like me. I'll be anybody else. It could be somebody else. And he's just a total shut up. It happened. You know, I put Paul running out of time. And I'm like, I don't know. I didn't know that. It's still coughing and stuff. That's it. We're running out of time. Last thing. All right, guys. Every time you have trash, you shoot it at the trash can. And you, without fail, miss every single time. I don't think you hit it a single time. And you continue to say, And then you leave it there. And you walk away. And then I pick it up. Just like your little moldy cloud. <laughs> yes. I did that with my tissues. I went out there. That was, that was fun. I told my boyfriend I'm going to make him lunch, but I'm actually just going to give him whatever girl dinner I get. Brazil nuts. Okay. Flavored yogurt. Okay, he's lactose intolerant. Cottage cheese. He's lactose intolerant. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so funny. Okay, I don't have Brazil nuts, but I do have some almonds, so I'm just going to give that to him. Here's the flavored yogurt. And then I have some cottage cheese. Oh, he's gonna be so grossed out by this. That's such a sad looking girl dinner. Oh my gosh. Babe, lunch is ready. Morning. Need something I thought you'd really like. 
<laughs> I can't even eat that. What do you mean? I'm lactose intolerant. What? You Why is there just food? nuts here? You don't want my food? Yeah, I've never seen you eat this. You are lying I'm trying, right I'm now. To... I'll eat the almonds. You... Thank you for trying. Come here, babe. No. Y'all, I'm literally so excited. I saw this happen, how to make the perfect square milk <laughs> And I was like, I didn't my eye. eye. What is what? this? What? Are you? It's gonna be so perfect. <laughs> Hold on, I need to get some more. Boom, boom, boom. 